like me dinner dust away from myself. So today I've been at work for five hours so far. And in these five hours, I've driven through rain, through sunshine, and through snow. How is that even possible to drive through all the kinds of weather within like four or five hours? Driving in different weather conditions brings its own problems. Is I got to the top of Botany Lane, I think it's called, up in Houses Hill, near that area anyway. And as I was coming down, literally my foot was on the brake pedal and there was nothing happening. The, the bus wheels were going, nope, I'm just gonna slide away. When it comes to summer, you, like things like when it's roasting outside, buses overheat, the, <laughs> they just break down a lot more. When it's roasting and so hot, buses break down just twice as much as they do when it's cold. Hey, up, that TLC bus is covered in snow. What's well, just coming? It's absolutely. Hey, up, hey, up, he's off, he's off. Come on, let, let him out. Come on. Oh, no. As if. Look at that, eh? Come on, hit him, hit him. <laughs> Three, two, four, we, we scan you. 760. You know what? Really nice buses, them Scania's. One of the things I miss most about Yorkshire Tiger is the Scania. Here we are. Little Solo on Freetown bus with wrong back bumper. And I used to drive that. When I worked at Tiger, I used to drive that. I was on the town bus rotor. And all that entailed was town bus. Uh, town bus 933 and Jewsbury Freetown bus as well. And that was the best rotor ever. Free town bus in, in, in Uddersfield, mint. You can go from bus station all the way around and then come back to bus station if you really want to. But like I said, on a sunny day, that town bus is mint. It's so good, just chill out, relax, drive around town 12 times, take no money, there's no problems then. And then you get days like today when it's gloomy, there's not many people about. So it does, the, day, the days drag. When there's no one about and it's and it's not as busy, the, the days do take a lot longer. But on about days taking longer, I'm gassing away here. Let's climb over, jump in the cockpit. If I take steering lock off, that'll help. So I'll just balance you. Happy days, I best go because I'm here bloody gassing and I'm due out in two minutes. So let's get myself signed on. Literally, it's just a ticket machine. Everyone's asked me what this actually is. It's just a handheld portable ticket machine. And on that note, I'm gonna go because I best get over there to stand C next to that white one with hazards on and get some work done. So I'm just parked up from that little bit of a trip I've just done. And it why it's always me. Who gets the idiot? Who gets the village idiot on the bus mourning about bus times? It can be any any bus idiot in any village and I'll cop for him. I always, always do. Bloody hell, they've got 262 on a solo. I'd like to be driving that. So what have I got to do today? What's left? Let's have a look in the book. Wrong way around. I've got one, two, three. Three return journeys, and then one up there to Houses Hill, and then I'm done, back to depot. Let's have a look. What time, man? 13.20, what time is it now? Let's just... For some reason, when, you, when you've been in reverse, and you've reversed into somewhere, I just dropped my blooming board. When you reverse into somewhere, and then you park, for some reason, the parking sensor bit doesn't disappear off the dashboard. So you have to push this button here to turn the power parking sensors off and then it puts back to the times. So I'm due out of here at 13.20. So I'll pull on stand about 13, 14, give me seven, six minutes to board people up. Uh, good chance now to actually check my bus. Well, Sammy, here, just climb over. 
So genuinely, this is just a really quick check of the bus itself. So just as you're walking down it, well, you can't really walk down this aisle, to be honest with you. It's just lift things up, make sure everything's as it should be. No one's soiled any seats. And just make sure everything's as it should be. Uh, any rubbish, get rid of it. Uh, make sure these windows are shut. If the windows are left open, gee, oh, it's a big... It's a bane in my life. They just rattle and rattle so much. So whenever someone opens them, as soon as they get off, it's just literally close them. The best one ever is this window here. Because if you want, if you want the window open, it's the person here who opens it. However, it's the person who sat behind him who gets all the cold. So apart from mourning it, everyone, actually got a new flat cat coming. Uh, it's like a black nice fabric one because the one i've got is like a wool it's a harris tweed one and i've shaved my head so it's quite itchy on my head so i'm wearing this for the time being until it comes to a post i've had to bloody order it i went to the shop to buy it and they didn't have it in so to wait another bloody week and a half for it to be delivered to me truthfully this isn't my favorite duty the best duty we have is the barnsley room and Barnsley three times a day and it I just love it you know it's so good that at duty because you go, go over at tops to Cawthorn and it's just relaxing you get some lovely people on it and you kind of meet your regulars um, a lot of people go on a Wednesday still they changed it from Wednesday running every Wednesday with two buses to Monday running it Monday to Friday three times a day but some people are still fixated on going on it Wednesday so you do get your regulars. But the thing is though, with regular passengers, you know kind of where they get on, where they get off, and kind of a bit about them. So you feel like you can actually have a good chat with them. And to be honest, when you're on this kind of vehicle, conversation flows really, really well. Um, there's people who literally sit behind you, who will just start chatting to you. And the amount of passengers know my life story is incredible. But the thing is though, you don't mind telling people, because as you're telling, your story they're telling you theirs and it was just like earlier today when someone mentioned someone was mentioning the fact that they can remember the war and rations and stuff like that and it's like wow man as if this jacket keeps pulling to this side so i've got bloody meow keys in here normally i kind of just stash everything in in that little pocket there but today i've kind of just kept it all in my jacket pocket and it's just weighing me down it's like a lead jacket like someone's gonna throw me in the river with it and I'd sink. Hey up, I've just noticed something. Stotts. Stotts is very car, man. It's a V is it a VW Turan? I'm impressed with that. TLC. Hey up. There we go. Tell he's done his check in the morning, he's reversing lights on. He's blocked my view at Stott's ferry car. Do you know what? It's actually a nice ferry car, that. As ferry cars go, that's really nice. Normally, I'm just used to cheap old bangers as ferry cars. I was saying that, we've, we've got a pretty nice ferry car. The Tiger, we had like an 06 plate Astra with like 300,000 miles, which were falling to bits. Oh, at Holland, we had a Citroen Berlingo. I think it were like this big like box thing which was the worst car to drive and me and me and sean took it up to newcastle to pick some buses up for tiger and genuinely we, 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 didn't, we didn't think it'd get there it was bloody horrendous driving that thing but it did me well because i had to move a, I had to move a treadmill once <laughs> i bought a treadmill and didn't realize how big it was so after work <laughs> i just went to pick the treadmill up I shouldn't really say that, but it was a good little car. Like it smoked as well. When you booted it, like massive clouds of black smoke appeared from behind you. But what is the time? I keep checking this time. I'm so conscious about it. So wrap it up, pretty short and sweet. I'm due out in a few minutes. I want to say thank you so much for subscribing and watching and liking. I hope you like these vlogs. I'm getting more into them now. Once you've like 
broken the vlog virginity you kind of feel a lot more, you feel a lot more comfortable doing it I feel like I'm come out the other side much better now for doing this one video I'm gonna try and get it up soon as possible uh, you may notice this video is in 4k I've got some new equipment which I'm gonna share with you very soon uh, it just means I can do a lot more with footage cab cams can be a little bit more interesting this camera I've got here doesn't do super view so it's, it's wounding it cost me a little old one has super view so you can see a lot more so that one will be the cab cam camera and this one will be the vlog camera because this one shoots in 4k please let me know what you want me to talk about because i can't do these videos without you guys uh, wanting to know more about what i do and things like that about my life uh, a few videos coming up i've got a few more factory visits first you to check and about getting into bus driving and how to do it so i'll let you all get off have a lovely night and i will see you all on sunday Ta -ta.